Hello everyone, this is Roxy's 1359 and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White. Last time, we earned ourselves the final gym badge of the Unova region, the Legend Badge, after Monty, the Dragon Slayer, did his magic within the Dragon Gym. So, let us heal up our little Dragon Slayer, and in this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading off to Route 10 towards Victory Road, now that we have all eight of the Unova gym badges. So... Let's use that PP up on Monty right there, so then we can end up getting everything we need. And now, let's head off towards Route 10 with Master Ball in tow. The Master Ball isn't going to get used until post-game, that is quite certain. And I know some people are not going to like that I use the Master Ball, but in my defense, what I use it on is justified. But, oh, sure. A big storm on Route 7. And different from Natural Phenomenon. That is your indication that one of the legendary Pokemon is now available. And it was at this point I was debating whether I wanted to go after it or not. Once there is a storm for the first time on Route 7, what that means is you can get the wandering legendary that is exclusive to either black or white. We will be doing that in the post game for this just for simplicity the storm will be there no matter what and every time we go but for right now we should head off towards victory road because you know i'm pretty sure alder is waiting for us so ladies and gentlemen welcome to route 10 what is by far also one of my more favorite tracks within the game that is quite certain i actually used this in an update video too this is one of my favorite route tracks and we have a battle girl here, but I'm not speeding it up. Why is that? That's because I'm going to use this battle girl to bio the three new Pokemon that are available on Route 10, starting with Buffalant. Buffalant is a buffalo Pokemon with an afro, something the afro battler ended up pointing out back when Gen 5 first came out. They have pretty good attack stat and a very good, you know, physical defense. Special attack is not that good, but their special defense is very powerful. Being a normal type it is, and get a lot of stab bonuses from things such as head smash or takedown. So they are pretty powerful if you are not careful. But of course, Bernie can punch it in the face, so that's always good. Next up, we have two bird Pokemon that are pretty good in all their rights, and they are Rufflet and Vullaby. Now, Rufflets are exclusive to Pokemon White, and Vullabies are exclusive to Pokemon Black. Vullaby, starting off with that, are only females and have a high defense, low attack, but a pretty good special attack. On the opposite end, we have Rufflet, which has a higher attack, lower defenses. Both evolve at level 54 and to a Bravery and a Vulture Pokemon whose name I honestly forget. But those are all the Pokemon that are available on Route 10. So. All you have to do is watch out for all these trainers that are right here, and it's at this point, I'm pretty much deciding that I want to, you know, ignore a lot of the trainers, which is why I totally kept in two of the trainers by that. Then again, this episode would be too short otherwise, because we have something else we're going to be tackling inside this episode. But we got the veteran Carla with her Maractus. I haven't seen a Maractus in a while, that is quite certain. So, go my itsy bitsy! Take it out! With your near 10 level difference, jeez. So, you're a grass type, so have fun with Bug! Goodbye! Goodbye, Mr. Cactus. Well, Mrs. Cactus, I should say. And we got a Cryogonal, so let us switch to Monkey, so then Monkey can sweep it like he did all those Cryogonal inside of the Icarus City Gym. Go, my Monkey, go! This one's level 40, so actually this one's around the same level as the ones inside the Icarus City Gym. So, Flame Judge! It's so great to have a physical fire move for Monkey. That also raises his speed, which is already his biggest attribute, believe me. And an Alomomola! I believe... I think we've met an Alomomola beforehand, but... Uh, why don't we bio them right now? Alomomola are water-type Pokemon that are rather interesting. For the longest time, people believed that Alomomolas actually were going to be the evolved form of Love Disc, but that didn't turn out to be. Their main stat is their HP, so they have a bulky HP, but 
defenses, special defenses, and even speed aren't that good. In fact, its regular defense is higher than anything else besides its HP. They're available on Route 17 as well, I believe, on Route 4 and inside of Driftvale City. So, it's just good to get those out of the way. But, here's Sharon. Let me guess, you got a badge, I got a badge, we fight. Oh, Bianca's here to watch. Well, yeah. Oh, like that's gonna be hard. So, it's time to battle Sharon for the last time of the game. And I have good old Itsy Bitsy with me since I found out that he could sweep the entirety of his team. However, I will admit I am a little overconfident. And I also forgot to heal up Itsy Bitsy entirely. This will be my downfall. So, Electro Ball to the Un Pheasant. And it didn't kill it. Something is going horribly wrong. I didn't kill it in one hit like I should have. So, let's use Electro Web. And get rid of the Un Pheasant. Goodbye. Itsy Bitsy gains nearly 4,000 experience, and we got the semi pour So, let's try and take out this semi pour So, Electro Ball again. And it didn't kill it. And scowled. This isn't good. You know why it's not good? I got critted! I got critted and lost Itsy Bitsy! I feel ashamed! Sharon's actually trying to give me a run for my money! Go Anna! I, I, I don't really know what to do. I was expecting Itsy Bitsy to kind of sweep his team. And we got Scowled again. Scowled's very annoying, especially when you get the burn off on it and it lowers your physical attack, which Anna luckily uses. So, that deals with the semi four, and here comes out his superior, the final form of Snivy. So, let's send out my little monkey and show him that my monkey is better than his monkey. And again, his monkey is sort of fainted right now, so it's pretty obvious. Now, superiors are, their main stat is their speed. So, this superior will outspeed me. That is pretty much what they all do. Their speed is ridiculous, and I mean ridiculous. But, with Flame Charge and using Monkey, due to the fact that Flame Charge increases his speed, I can now outspeed Sharon's superior. So, this is pretty ridiculous. So, Flame Burst. And, uh-oh. Whew, that was good. Luckily, since the superior has leftovers, I don't think Sharon would care to heal his superior, which is why he totally just let it fall. So, that takes care of the superior. And Monkey is now level 45. Getting pretty high up there in levels, but we're gonna need more for the Pokemon League. And we have Leopard, so only one person can help me now. Bernie! Punch it in the face! Go, Bernie! Just punch it in the face. That, that's what you're good at. What's up, Leopard? Yeah, you have put all your energy into this battle. You've actually done damage and got rid of Itsy Bitsy. But you've sealed your fate. Revenge! Goodbye. And there we go. That defeats Sharon for the final time. Yes, please do so. You kind of fainted my itsy bitsy. Thank you. And we get Max Revives. I think she only gave us two or three, so not the most helpful, but those are still pretty good. But, but this is Sharon. Happiness does not compute with him.
Aw, so really, the winner of this game is friendship and teamwork. But, but reckless is the thing I do. I, 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 I am reckless. I went into a dragon gym actually surprisingly prepared because I ended up using Monty who was a steel type, but that's another point. But now we have all of our things done. So we got ourselves a max revive, but what I need to do right now is sort my item because this annoys me. And what we're going to use is we're going to use a max repel because there is a ability to get a dust stone on this route. I get it off screen because I'm an idiot. Uh, these right here are usually uh, Among Us, so you need to watch out for those. And we have the black belt right here. But what we're doing is we're going towards the area where you can get yourself a dust stone. A dust stone is necessary to evolve our final Pokemon into its final form, and that is Lumiere into an almighty Chandelure. But first things first, we need to take care of this black belt. So, let us use Electro Ball again. There we go. Critical hit. Gets rid of them. And let's keep going through. Got ourselves a Hyper Potion. Those are always beneficial to grab. And got ourselves a Dawn Stone, which is a nice item to get, but, you know, doesn't really help me. And we've got ourselves a Hiker to deal with now. Now that man in the corner right there, I thought he was a trainer. I didn't think that he was the one that gives you the dust stone. Talk to that man, he'll give you a dust stone telling you that, uh, good job for making it this far, have this. I won't be evolving, uh, what is his name? I won't be evolving Lumiere off screen, I will be evolving him at the end of the next part. When is that gonna be? That's when we're gonna be at the Pokemon League. But for right now, let us get rid of that Bulldore's annoying sturdy, and then kill it in one hit. So, there we go. And here's me thinking, okay, so I need to heal up my Pokemon. So, that's a full heal. Let us use one of our two max revives. This is something I should not have done, but I did. And you're gonna see why I shouldn't have done that later. And what we're gonna do is, we are going to Accidentally try to use the Dawn Stone and then realize, wait, no, I need a Dusk Stone. Dawn Stones evolve something entirely different. And what I should do is I should talk to that guy, but I don't. But I go over here and get TM05, Roar, a move I never use. Seriously, I don't know anyone who uses Roar. I mean, Whirlwind does the same thing, right? So go down here and you can get yourself a full restore. Always very helpful. And we've got another trainer to deal with before we head off to the main part of the Pokemon League. So, we gotta deal with the ace trainer, Cheyenne. Or, Shenny. Or however you say that. So we got a sauce book, grass type, goodbye. And Itsy Bitsy is now level 50. So, we got a Jellicent, which is the evolved form of Frillish. And that's what the female ones look like. The male ones look like they have a glorious regal mustache. But, this right here is where we can go to lead ourselves to the Pokemon League. So, let's head off. No music playing, rather ominous, and giant doors. What do you have to say? Yep. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to prevent, prevent, we're gonna have to present each and every single one of our badges to the doors. I have the basic badge. Thank you. And as you can notice, there is grass here. What can you catch here? You can catch a Buffalon, you can catch Rufflet, or you can catch Vullabies here. I think there's also a chance of Audinos, if I am remembering correctly, and they'd be pretty high levels, so you have a chance of getting them. I think that's the three Pokemon that are available on this part, because I think this is technically an extension of Route 10. And you can notice that each one of these has 
you know, a little motif when you go through the door representing the gym badge that it was. So right now, we're gonna see one for the Volt badge. So it's like a little power plant. And here's a guy right here. Without the Quake badge, I can't proceed. So this person made it all the way to, you know, this area and didn't get the Quake badge. Interesting. Oh yes, I will make my foe's hearts tremble. Have you seen Monty? He's a dragon slayer. Now we need to have the Jet badge. And? There's nothing but a big pit. This one I think is probably the laziest one out of them all. I mean, it's cool that I'm floating, but there's not really much of a design here. So, go through here with our freeze badge. And now we arrive at the last gate, which requires the legend badge. And believe me, I am a legend. I am the ultimate legend. So, let's go up and open the final door. I shall, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final main area of the main game before post game. Victory Road. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. So Roxas1359, next time we're tackling Victory Road.